Hi, you cool chaos Catron here, the Sax Habit Coach, bringing you the best practice tips, tools, and ideas to help you as a beginner saxophone player develop the practice habits and routines to master your saxophone faster. Now, my purpose is to serve, motivate, and to inspire you. So if it's your first time here, consider subscribing. And remember, turn on that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. So today is Tech Tuesday, and I am going to be sharing with you how to actually record your saxophone and we're going to use a free piece of software called audacity so i am going to jump over to my computer now and do the setup then i grab my sax and show you exactly how the process should go so let me jump over to my computer all right so basically guys what you want to do is go on your computer and we're going to open up audacity all right and then we're going to set up our project so i am going to go to my file and i'm going to go to import and we're going to import my audio track this is going to be the audio track that i am going to be using to record uh this song or the backing track all right and then i'm going to open that afterwards i'm going to go back and click save project as and i am just going to call this uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. How to record your sax. Okay. And I'm going to save that. And then all I'm going to do from here is that I'm going to just hit record when I take up my sax. And we're going to begin to record the track. All right. So let me do that. All right, so basically I'm just recording a little part of this uh, song for you. And then all we're going to do is play that back for you to hear what it sounds like. Just the raw recording without any form of EQing, without any form of mixing. This is what it would sound like, all right? All right, so you can hear that the soundtrack is already louder than the actual sax that we have recorded, right? So you need to mix, you need to EQ all of this. So I am going to show you uh, 
what it would sound like after I would have mixed it and I would have recorded myself with a video track behind that. So let me just pull up that for you to show you just how that would actually look. All right, guys, so that is how it would sound after you would have post-edited your music, added to your video, and so on. Now, if you want to take your recording after you have done it raw and take it to the next level where you have mixed it and EQ'd it, then I have a free course. I'm going to leave the links below in the description for you to find that link and access my free course that I have on my website to show you how to mix and master your music in Audacity, which is a free piece of software. Software, all right, so go grab that link and check out the free course that I have. It is in the description below. And as always, guys, push play until something happens. Peace.